Section 6.4 talks about income tax withholding. This is the amount of income tax that's withheld or taken out of your paycheck. First question. Rachel is single and claims two withholding allowances, uses the wage bracket method. Notice that I've highlighted that. There's a couple methods we're going to use to calculate income tax to find her withholding tax if her monthly gross earnings are $2,139.78. What we're gonna use is we're gonna use the table. Notice that I've highlighted here, this table is for someone that is single. There's another table for someone married. And this is also for someone that's paid monthly. So just make sure that whenever you're looking at the tables, both in your book and also the tables that are given to you in my math lab, that you're using the one that's appropriate for the person, whether they're single or married. On the left-hand side, we see that we're looking for wages that are at least this amount, but less than this amount. So think the small end and the high end. So we're trying to find out where $2,139.78 would fit in between here. Taking a look, it looks like it's gonna be bigger than 2,120, but smaller than 2,160. So I'm gonna highlight that row above my line. And I'm also going to look, remember that it said two withholding allowances. So we're gonna find that up here, zero withholding allowances, one withholding allowance, two withholding allowances. So I'm looking at this column of two. And I'm trying to find where these two intersect. And they intersect right here at $153. And that's all we need to do for question one. You're finding the correct row and the correct column, and you're finding where they intersect. On question two, we're going to use a percentage method. And with the percentage method, you're going to get a large table. Notice that you have weekly payroll, biweekly payroll, all the way to monthly. On the left, you have people that are single compared to people that are married because they'd be different tax rates, whether you have one income or two incomes in the family. Okay. For the questions that follow, I've highlighted the section of the table that's needed so that we can uh, look at the numbers and they're a little larger. Right now they're kind of small and difficult to see. Okay. Again, this is the table that would be given to you. In question two, Sarah is single, claims one withholding allowance, important information to highlight, has a weekly, so important to notice that they're paid weekly, gross earnings of $690 for one week. Use the percentage method to find withholding tax. To start with, we're gonna work on the withholding allowance. The withholding allowance is money that you're going to keep in your paycheck without paying taxes at the moment. So money you keep without paying taxes or paying income tax. We're going to subtract these withholding allowances so that we don't calculate them in our tax bracket. We're gonna start with the 690, that is our weekly paycheck. And we're going to subtract the one withholding allowance. And right here we see that a weekly withholding allowance is $77.90. If I subtract, I end up with $612.10. Now we're going to take that $612.09 and excuse me, and 10 cents and look in the table. So in the table, here I have highlighted someone that is paid weekly, and I also have someone that is single. So important pieces of information from our question. And like question one, we're trying to find out in between where our 612 falls. It looks to me like it falls in the second row. And in that second row, I'm gonna write that information down. Our tax amount is $17.90 plus 15%, and then I'm gonna read this part, of excess over 
$222. Of excess over $222 means that amount that we used here that we're going to be taxed on and subtract $222 to find out how much above that you are, how much difference. So this part is $612.10. minus 222. Going left to right, we have $17.90. Our plus changes to a plus sign. I'm going to change the 15% to 0.15. The of means multiply, and so I'm going to use this parenthesis as my multiplication. 1790 plus 15%. Order of operation says I'm going to subtract what's in parentheses first. When I do that, I have $390.10. I'm going to keep going with order of operations, and order of operations would have us work on multiplication before addition. So I'm going to multiply that amount, $390.10 times 15, 0.15, When I multiply, I get $58.00. And I'm going to keep all the decimals for now and round at the end. The last one I'm going to work on is adding the $17.90. And I get 76. And again, I'm keeping all those decimal places. Now that I'm on my final answer, I'm going to round to the nearest penny. And because the 5 is 5 or bigger, it tells me I'm going to go up to 42 cents. So again, no rounding until you're at the final answer. The next question is going to give us another one like this so we can practice it again. Dale is married and claims three withholding allowances, receives $7,850 a month working as a chemical engineer. We're going to again use that wage bracket or the percentage method to find our withholding tax. So important information, paid monthly, married, and three allowances. Always start with those allowances because those are money that you take out of your paycheck with, or that you keep in your paycheck without paying taxes. So three monthly allowances, this tells us what one monthly allowance is worth, and we're going to calculate three of these. Three allowances, and each one is $337.50. So three times $337.50 would be $1,012.50. Again, we're gonna keep that without taxes. I'm gonna take the 7,850 of our paycheck and subtract the allowances amount. That gives me $6,837.50 to look in our table. Notice that I picked up the part of the table that's for a married person and they're paid monthly. And I'm going to look. It's got to be over this, but not over this. So in between this left and right amount, this was a holdover from the uh, left hand side. So over this, but under this, it looks to me like it's going to be that second row again. So I'm going to read that tax portion, $154.50 plus 15% of the excess over 2,258. Again, this excess over is our subtraction of what we're looking up in the table, the part we're going to tax, 6,837.50, and we're going to find out how much above 2,258 we are. I'm going to go back left to right, $154.50 plus, and I'm going to change the 15% into a decimal 0.15. 
Now we follow order of operations. I'm going to start with that subtraction. And I get $4,579.50. I'm just doing one step at a time. The next step would be to multiply by our 0.15. And I get $686.925.925. And Again, holding on to those decimal places. We have 154.50 plus our 686 decimal, and I get $841. And then the decimal I'm going to round it to is that 5 tells me I need to round up to 43 cents. We're going to do one more question and then take a break before we go to video two. Hilda works as a nurse in Indiana and earns $4,250 for the month. The tax rate for Indiana is 3.4% of the adjusted gross income. So again, this is gross income before taxes. Calculate the withholding tax. Really all we're doing here is taking 3.4% times that $4,250 of the paycheck. Converting 3.4% to a decimal would be 0 0.034, and we're going to multiply that by the $4,250 in the paycheck, and I get $144.50, and this is the Indiana State tax, State Withholding Tax. We'll come back with two more questions to end section 6.4.